Hey, it's Broford here. Me and a couple friends have decided to play a one-shot and record it. There will be four players, my friend Kaysok will be the DM. Kaysok, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Kaysok, and like Broford said, I'm DMing this quote-unquote one-shot while we take a break from his campaign. You'll be hearing enough from me, so I'll keep it short and just say that links to where you can find me will be in the description, including my YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Remember to like and subscribe, and leave a comment on what you think of this campaign. Without further ado, let's get into the game! Alright, is everybody ready? As I'll ever be. I'm ready. Alright, so... Yep. Um... First off, let's start with this. Recently, uh, a mutual friend of all of yours has died. Um, in fact, they've they've been uh, murdered. Very grisly murder. They used to be a guardsman that, uh, that worked in the city that you guys live in. Uh, whatever fantasy city that you would like it to be. And um, after he retired as a guardsman, he became a adventurer. And so you all are at some point or another have been a regular adventuring member of his and were notified of his death. Uh, you find yourselves at his cemetery er, at the cemetery at his funeral. Uh, where all of you have been gathered up. Um, his few remaining living friends, uh, if not friends, then maybe some, like, acquaintance. And, uh, you are all told that upon his death, uh, they found a fragment of silk gripped in his hands that are only sold in a few establishments in the city. Um... There's been some preliminary work done, but uh, it seems like this certain store that it all points to is outside the jurisdiction of the local uh, authorities. And so one of his fellow uh, guardsmen who ended up staying uh, longer than, uh, than your friend did, he comes up to you and as a personal vendetta says I that, that he can't. He doesn't have the rights. He doesn't have the the capability to go against his orders and not go further into the into examining and studying the uh, evidence and look into this. But he seeks you all out, the four adventurers that showed up to the funeral, to help. He gives you this slip of a uh, silk it's got very intricate embroidered designs on it it is it is sturdy but yet very flexible and smooth uh and it is got spots of blood on it left over from whether it's your friend or whoever assaulted your friend um and he's t uh the before the uh the guardsman leaves he simply says to you follow up at the Veiled Mannequin. So, uh, as you uh, walk upon this store, uh, it does indeed say the Veiled Mannequin. It's It looks to be a small store. Uh, maybe, like, let's say, about 60 feet wide uh, for, the, for the main store area with a living quarter near it. Uh, and... An elegantly carved sign above the door says the Veiled Mannequin. Fashions for discerning lords, ladies, and lieges. Why Warthouse, uh, Couturier, and Designer. So you, you can tell that this place has an air of elegance to it. And you find yourselves inside. Sweet. So, uh, you guys have found yourself, uh, here around 5 p.m. It's getting to the point in the year where, uh, the sun is setting earlier and earlier, uh, around mid-fall right now. Uh, there is a half- or a gnome woman sort of scuttling about the shop. Uh, she seems to be kiddishly, uh 
like adjusting garments and stuff along the walls. It's not pictured because I couldn't be fucked to do it. Uh, along the walls, there are garments on hangers, and there are tufts of different fabric uh, samples that are uh, sort of fluttering as she passes by. It's very light fa fabric. Over at the counter, there is a grizzled looking uh, halfling. Who, who seems to be tinkering with something or other, but uh, is probably just running the till. Um, and he just sits here. What would you all like to do? Yoink. Hello. Nope. Oh, uh, hello, dear. Uh, what, what, what may I help you with? Uh, we're looking to uh, have this uh, silk examined. We found it uh, from a friend, and we we're wondering, does it belong here? Uh, she she takes this she takes the silk and turns it over in her fingers and says, "This certainly looks like of the quality that we would uh, produce here, but." I, I'm sorry, but I cannot tell you who we sold this to, or if there's any way to uh, uh, distinguish it. It's it, it is unclear, unfortunately. Well, I don't expect you to know that from just looking at it. Here, uh, have you ever heard of a guard named? I explain guard's name. <laughs> okay. She uh, she kind of brushes her chin and kind of you can see that she's thinking about it and she says unfortunately the name doesn't quite ring a bell um yes uh if unfortunately i cannot uh answer right now may I insight go for it first roll uh, let me double check everything's public normal and it's a... mm, you can tell that she is, uh, although she may not know him by name, she she seems to know more than she lets on. Mm -hmm. uh, would anybody else like to do anything? I guess, uh, are the silks on display here? Um, yes, along the walls. Do I see the fabric and design that matches what we have at all? Make a investigation check for me. Alright, let's see. Make sure... Normal. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's there's all sorts of designs, and the you as you kind of shuffle through all the samples that they have, it... You, you can't really see a match, but you can definitely see some resemblance to patterns, maybe in different colors or uh, similar threads and stitches being used, as you can see on the on the uh, on the bloody rag that uh, that you guys brought in. So it's definitely uh, it's in the realm of possibility that they are made in the same place, but you don't see an exact match that you're looking for. Okay. This guy in the corner is, uh, what, what, what did you say he was doing again? He was just whittling. He's got like a little knife in his hands and he's carving away at this little piece of wood. Hello, sir. What do you want? My friends and I were here to ask some questions if you could answer that if you had any insight look i just worked the till here i'll answer whatever questions mm -hmm. you want though and he sets down the knife on the counter and the thing that he's whittling and he kind of clasps his fingers how can i help you have you by any chance heard of a man named okay what's the guy's name i'm gonna write it down so <laughs> we don't uh, keep i didn't give the him a name uh let's just oh name... damn it. yeah um Freddy. <laughs> sure, why not? His name's Frederick, but you guys called him Freddy. Frederick. 
A man by the name of Frederick. Did he come by any time recently? Yeah, he, uh, he, he it takes him a little bit, but he's like, Frederick, Frederick. His name seems familiar, yes. Um, but can't tell you what he came here for. Uh, she'll, um, let me, we have the names of all the, ca I have to try and remember all the names. <laughs> so uh, we've got. He, he says he came, uh, pretty sure he came looking for, for something, but left in a hurry. Don't remember what though. Did he ask for any sort of information or is there somebody else that we may talk to? Look, I already told you that I don't know much about the information, so if you wanna if you wanna ask more questions, it seems like your friend over there is talking to Yofi enough. So be it. And he walks away and goes over to Yofi. Uh mind if I roll something and then base what I do after that? Go for it. Okay. 24. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a shame. Uh, Frederick was a really good friend of mine. We spent many, many years together. He beat, practically raised me. I just so worried what happened to him. It's a shame you don't really know anything that happened. Are you attempting to like persuade her to tell I, you what I'm happened? I'm deceiving her in in that I knew him very, very well, and therefore guilt tripper. <laughs> okay, make a persuasion check for me. Uh, no, I'm lying, because she only knows her briefly. She only knew him briefly. <laughs> uh-huh, I know. <laughs> I mean, the deception works. Yes. But how... Uh, are, are you going to be... All right, let me just... I'm deceiving to guilt trip. Mm-hmm. She says, oh, well, that's, uh, that's certainly unfortunate. Um... I don't know this Frederick person. I don't know why this came up in this conversation, but, um, I, please just enjoy this, uh, enjoy the wares, enjoy the store, and if you need any help with the product, I will be more than happy to help. I would like you all to make a perception check. All right here. Getting good rolls. Um. This is just to. This is. I'm assuming to just notice something that's happening that mm. like passively kind. Of, okay, I won't try using guidance then. That'd be silly. <laughs> so, uh, though so Shade and Maverick, you two realize that uh, once Frederick's name was mentioned to Yofi, um, her hand sort of shot up to this brooch that she's wearing around her neck and she starts rubbing it and with 24 or uh, with a 24 Maverick real sees that it glows slightly okay with that information I would step over to oh sorry I'd step over towards uh, Shade here and I would mention to what I've seen since he's been the one talking to Yofi mm -hmm. that hey uh, I'm gonna whisper it to him that that brooch on her neck that she's holding on to or wherever it is is uh, glowing and then as as you guys are t saying this she uh through the store Shade is going to just like hum her way over to the front, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what is the dude specifically doing right now? He's back to whittling the uh, the little thing that he's holding in his hands with the knife. Oh, that's interesting. Can I have a look at it? Nah, this one's a personal project of mine. Uh, look, if you're not here to shop, I'd have to ask you to leave. Oh, I think you missed something right there. As she, like, pokes her finger, uh, I'm going to attempt to touch him and, uh, charm him. Um. Hang on. Charm person. Specifically. Alright. 
Uh, he he seems to like draw back instinctively because he doesn't want people touching his shit. But I would allow you, I will allow you just just say that you are able to touch him like just like graze his finger. Let me just check here just in case I'm misreading. Uh, uh... So what's what's actually the I don't really need here. to touch him. I just like sorry I thought I needed to touch him. Uh, I just like oh well that's too bad. You know do you think we can go to the back and uh, in that say, saying that will be the charm. All right. Um, what's the, what do I have to beat for saving throws? Uh, Seventeen wisdom save. All right. That's a natural twenty with advantage. Damn. And Arch. it's a whiz save. So yeah, it's just a flat twenty then. So like, get your hands off my things. Look, if you're gonna be coming around here being nosy, then you're in the wrong place. Uh, is there a window on this side, or just that? Or what's that next to him? Is that supposed to be a window looking out? So there's four windows, and then there's a door. Uh, I'll walk over to one of the windows, which I assume there'd probably be one like right here. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of glance outside and see if I see okay. anything. Uh, make a perception check. Well, actually, if you just want to go off your previous one, since that was so high. Um, That's fair if you want to do that. Yeah, so a as you look outside, um, you see that it's pretty quiet out there. There's not a lot of uh, activity. In fact, as you were walking around here, let let's just go back that far. Uh, you realize that this, this street's pretty dead. Very um, successful, like cloth business exists here is very strange. Just under my breath, I'm just gonna tell myself I don't feel comfortable here, and just kind of keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch that door she went into, though. Jade's gonna walk out. She was told to leave because she doesn't really need to be here anymore. <laughs> That's fair. All right, out the door she goes. Nope, I better go find another place to go shopping. Alright, let me just go ahead and open that door for you. Alright. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> drag you back in there. Um So This uh this this guy at the front desk seems to be pretty agitated. Yeah, I'm gonna step outside too. Okay. Everybody's going. I'm gonna follow. Tux, what do you do? Tux is just enamored by the pretty sill. Okay. Um, make make a history check for me. All right. Oof. Yeah, it's it's just pretty silk to you. Um, something something seems to be like tugging at your uh, subconscious, but it is uh, you, you, it doesn't really quite get to you. It's just pretty silk. Eh, checks out. Alright, After stepping out of the shop, though, I would do a walk around the building to get more of a grasp of this place. Is it two stories? You said it's 60 mm -hmm. by what? So, the, the, um, it's, hold on, let me just get, like, a actual measurement of this place. Okay. So, it is, the main building, uh, is about 50 feet by 15. Okay. But you can see that there seems to be like a strange growth, like a strange little angled section that's that comes out of the side. That's just a stone slant that comes out of the side of the building. If you want me to like drag, show you what I'm explaining here. The door won't let us through. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know how much of this lighting works, but like right here, go. that's just like a stone slant that goes into the ground. 
All right, I'm moving everybody's uh, little character pictures out of the way so I can see it. I can zoom out. Okay, I see what you're saying. Huh. And walking, if I walk around the building and just do kind of a circle uh, mm -hmm. quietly, do I see any other windows or second story windows or anything like that? Nope. nope. So the, I... this is in a town, so like the, the buildings are fairly close together. Okay. Where are we oh, no. not supposed to be able to see? I mean, you're a human, so... Well, I'm a, hu I'm a Warforged. What? Warforged don't have dark vision, right? They don't. Okay, I didn't realize it was straight up nighttime. If it is, I'll cast light so I can... Uh, 40 well, the thing foot. is that the, this isn't truly outside. It is actually, like... It, it's off actually the, map. the out of bounds for the maps. <laughs> okay. I don't see another entrance into this place, I'll just mention it. It's odd that there's not windows. I can try again on the dude, but... Yeah... It didn't seem very effective the first time. You can always just move him out of the way. Can't exactly get past him with the door right behind him. But they're definitely hiding something back there. And I'm not saying this loud by any means. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to sneak back there? Uh, don't know if we'll be able to get past them. Do you think you can? Oh, most definitely. All right. I just need one Do of you have a... to distract him. I'll look over at uh oh uh, what's what's your name? The uh the cat icon. I don't have the name down yet. Tux. I'll look over at Tux and be like, hey, you want to go uh, check out the uh, silk again and maybe pull a few off the shelf by accident? Mm. I, I, I need to need, some, need something. So. Alright. So what? Uh, Shade, do you have a way to get a hold of us while you're inside so we know what's happening? But, I'll be fine. Okay. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Okay. Make some noise and we'll be right behind you. Oh no, I need you guys to walk in and just don't close the door for like two seconds while I see by you. And she snaps her fingers and she is invisible. Oh. So as, as you guys are walking towards the door, you can hear some, uh... There, there seems to be some, like, stressed hushed kind of conversation going on. Can I try to listen further before I try go near in a window? Yeah, go for I it. straight up walk up to a window, okay. invisible, and just uh, peer inside. Okay. Um, you two make a uh, make a perce perception check for me, because you are standing by a barrier. Alright, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> uh, so Tarn actually hears this and you hear uh the lady who you know you know is named yofi uh she's she's like that's that was way too close why, why did you why did you say that there was there's there's things going on here and the 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 man at the counter she's like i don't fucking know they get those guys are stressing me out and it's like if we god damn it uh let me let me just get a name here uh god god damn it if narga heard about this he'd have both of our skins and use them for leather and at that then, point yeah uh tarn will open up the door and walk right into the building i'll be right behind him okay i i, I realized that go. i did the uh, i did the walls wrong so i'm gonna have to like manually move you in okay Okay. So an invisibility oh, yeah. doesn't mean you're imperceptible, so... Yes, let me just go ahead and throw... Ninja Mask. Okay. Uh, stealth check. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I gain advantage? No, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't gain advantage. They're not... Uh, 16. Alright. That 
is a uh let's see what's the modifier i think i think they're able to percept you well invisibility sh- does see them, so right? invis- invis- even though you're invisible doesn't mean you don't make footstep noises doesn't mean you don't brush against other things it's it's very hard to detect but it's not imperceptible that is an 18 hmm. by the way the first one was a two. <laughs> well, actually, no. Wait, that's a, no disadvantage. That's that's yeah. That never mind. That was a two. I thought advantage in my head. I'm surprised I don't get advantage for being invisible. I think it just causes disadvantage on the other side. Okay. But if they w- whatever it is, she doesn't seem. They both of them don't seem to perceive you. Okay. So, what now? Uh, these so these what? two have now hushed. Uh, Yofi is back to kind of shuffling about, kind of making her uh, making the samples look more uh, uniform after Tux has gone through and ruffled them a bit. I'm going to walk the opposite direction and ruffle the other ones that she's looking at to see if I find any silks that I like. Okay. Um, Just to pull attention. Mm-hmm. Tex will go over to to uh, here and start uh, kneading the the silk with with claws. Uh, roll roll a d four. Yeah, you completely shred, like, <laughs> like a, one of the more like longer, more uh, complete sections of cloth. And at that point, Yofi is like, "Sir, sir, please, please do not do that," and goes over to you. And I'll look straight at the, I'll look at the artificer, or not artificer. He's, I don't the the dude is he a gnome or is he a dwarf? Uh, halfling. He's he's a halfling. He's a halfling. Okay, I was just curious. And he'll... Is there a chair that he can grab or something right here? Uh, not not at that side of the counter. Alright, he's tall enough, he just gets down on one knee and he pulls out, like... Uh, he also pulls out a piece of wood or something. And his... Sets down a few woodcarver's tools. And he says... So, have you been at this for very long? And he starts slowly whittling away a piece of wood that he had in his pocket. Why are you back in here? Well, it seems the rest of my compatriots does still wanted to look around. They, uh, uh, does the shade go into the room? Yes. Okay. I'll just put you in there for the time being. Roll an investigation check for me while uh, Tarn does his thing. Okay. So what did you say, Tarn? They um, seem to still want to look around and speak with you a bit longer, but... They didn't get off on the right foot the first time. The the guy just goes back to his whittling and says, "Whatever, whatever floats your boat, bud." Hey, where'd the fourth one go? I think they said they'd be back in a moment. Which isn't technically a lie. It is not. Good on you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, so um, your investigation check, you just, yeah. It's I just found like, a this, really, this really bed soft bed is very bed. soft. <laughs> yeah. They use so, the proper silks. <laughs> yeah, so I will just let you know, this room is very basic. It's only made for one person. Um, there's a desk and a chair over in the corner. The bed is, is a fairly standard bed, and but as you said, it does have like a very nice silk blanket on top. And there is a single bookshelf in the corner here. So I'm going to be honest with you, and I will I will choose to ignore it. Um, I can't. Oh, there's see the there entrance. there's yeah there's I I noticed that there's that thing over there. Yes. You okay. can see the you can see the thing. Yes. But in character, I do not, and therefore I am going to enjoy the soft bed and peruse the books because that's the only mm-hmm. notable notable thing here. Uh, at 
as you are going through the books, um, there yeah. seems to be several books in there, but most of them are for textiles and for uh, what uh, and whatnot. There's several uh, history books which are strange. Uh, a few books that you can't. Uh, what what languages do you know? Common, abyssal, celestial. Yep. So you don't recognize a uh, few of the languages are in common with like the exception of like three of them. Hmm. All right, moving back out front. Talk this uh Yofi is like trying to like scramble to get the claws out of the way of Tux's hands. What did you say that these look so much better now? They do not. These these took me so much time to make. Why are you doing this? They yeah, they did look good before, but now they look oh so much better. Sir, I must implore you that you pay the price for uh pay the 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 gold amount for how much this would have sold for. And how much would that be? That would be five hundred gold pieces. <laughs> Are you really sure that it was five hundred gold? I am very certain that it was 500 gold. Tarn will walk over and head up, um, go over and just uh, re hold out his hand to um, Tux for the dress. May I please see it for a moment? Hands it over. And he just cast mending on the 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 garment to mm. repair it. Good. So yeah, he just goes over the whole thing as many uh t just cleans up any rip that there was and just re and g gently hands it over to the uh, uh what, what's her name again? Um <laughs> Yofi. Yofi. To Yofi. Please excuse my friend. He I haven't known him long, but I'm sure he meant no harm by his actions. Yofi accepts the uh, the cloth, and her face softens a little. But you can still she she can still tell that she's a little upset. And she says, "I do appreciate the gesture of repairing what your friend has broken, but I will have to insist that if you truly do not mean to purchase anything, that I ask you to leave." Uh, how long has it been since um, Shade has been in the other? section of the room it's been a few minutes so far and we haven't heard anything yet so uh, um, I, will, I will allow shade to make one more investigation check <laughs> jesus christ wow. this bed is so soft wow. <laughs> the softest of is this, is this how this session's going to end <laughs> no uh, no, here we are. It. Just in, in case, in case we get lucky, I did pull several books out. If if something triggers, uh, I randomly pulled out. Oh, books okay. <laughs> uh, so as you pull out the uh, one of the books that was written in a language that you don't understand, it doesn't fully come out. Instead, you pull it and it clicks. <laughs> uh, thus. Let me just get to the right layer. Opening up this pathway. Secret tunnel. Uh, also, the light should have, the the block should have been here, not further down. But uh, oh well. Is that audible to the other room, or is it uh, a silent? Thing? It's pretty quiet. Okay. So nobody here. else realizes it. So is this going up or down? It is going down. Okay. And he'll just talk to Yofi and, uh, well, I don't need anything of quite that, uh, 
ex high of an expense, but do you perhaps have any scrapped cloth or anything that I could work with? Small bits of, uh, oh god, what's the name? Uh, uh, cloth? Oh god, <laughs> I can't think of the word. Just get, uh, yeah, there's a name for silks and cloths and stuff like that, Materials. but I can't remember this. Yeah, there's fabric. That's why. Fabrics. Fabrics. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I you... grab one of the books, by the way, in the back, and I slam it into the ground and make a noise back here. Okay. Uh, Yofi rolls a dog shit uh, perception, so she doesn't notice, but I would like everybody else, the other three, to roll perception checks. Actually, I'm going to roll a perception check for Neighbor as well. Neighbor notices. That's the name of the halfling? I mean, you guys don't know it, but yes. Oh, okay. Um, so everybody else notices, but Naver, you see Naver's ears perk up, and he gets out of his chair, and from underneath the table, you see him pull a blade. It's like, ma'am, there's something back there. Is everything all right? Uh, Yofi looks panicked and says, oh, th th there's no problem. <laughs> um, I am just going to go quickly check on the, uh, the back room. Why? And Yofi, neighbor, goes into the door as he follows okay. Yofi. So as, uh, since I, so who, who, who enters first? Neighbor, neighbor enters first with... Okay, can I... Uh, and I'm fine to do the straight roll, but I'm not going to ask anyway. Can I, since I have, uh, since I'm still invisible, can I advantage charm person? Now? It's not while a you're invisible. Yes. I think when you use it, it'll drop your invinci it invisibility. Will. It will. It will. Just okay. like having like a person charm him out of nowhere. Sure, you can try again. Yeah. So is it the spell save DC? Okay. Uh, it wouldn't give me advantage. Was, can I have him have, have disadvantage? Okay, so it'll be just a straight roll for him. Okay. That's a five. It's a five. Oh. And I whispered to us here. Uh, uh, I don't mean anything, but uh, a book just fell over. Okay. Um. And he looks over at you, and he sees you, and he just kind of gives you this slow nod as uh, he gets out of the way uh, just before for yep. Yofi to come in. Hello. And he and he looks and he looks at her, and he says, "A book just fell over. She told me so." <laughs> and I would like you all to roll initiative. Oh God. Okay. All right. Goody. <laughs> cool thing is, I have advantage, but it did jack squat. I've got a minus one to initiative, so yeah. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So, we are going to start with Yofi. Hello. Uh, Yofi is going to cast, uh,. Inflict wounds. Uh, can I? Uh, I don't have my reaction, do I? Um, what what is your re? I mean, if it's a reaction, you can do it at any time. It's just once per round, I think. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't have a turn. I'm not taking a surprise though. Um, I will. Uh, silvery barbs. Okay to give her disadvantage. On attack rolls? Uh, you magically distract the, the triggering creature and trans monetary uncertainty into encouragement for others. The, trigger, the triggering uh, creature must roll the d20 and use the lower roll. I think that might just have to be, oh, so I have to re-roll and then use the lower roll. Okay. That is a 15. That's nice. Okay, 
So the damage is going to be, uh, let's see, 23 necrotic. Oh. As you feel just a patch on your like sh left shoulder just instantly start to decay, it's it it really fucking hurts. The fuck! I just was cleaning. And she just says, you all are filthy liars! You destroy my product, you try to break in, what is wrong with you? Uh, Maverick, it is your turn, you're hearing this through the open door here. I, I step forward, and do I see the fact that she's attacked Shade with the necrotic yes, and all that? you do, you do. Alright, I'll draw my bow, uh, and point it at her, and say, we can still end this in a more peaceful option. There's no need for violence, and I'll hold my action if she attacks me, I'll shoot. All right. It's hard. Um, five, ten. Uh, let's see here. Am I dead already? What? Oh no! I, <laughs> I took the I, I took the ninja mask off, but I guess that I accidentally clicked on the X as well. I'm dead already! Wow, that was fast. Uh, is that our twenty-three ne necrotic damage? Couldn't fucking take a hit. Personal record. <laughs> Dead in five minutes. Talk about I... a soft, soft character. I use my words. Uh, I heard you around the wall. You didn't tell us everything we wanted to know. What are you hiding? And... As if I tell you, or are you, you going to do something with those words? And, uh, midway through, uh, speaking, yeah, he'll pull, he'll pull out his quarter staff and hold his shield on the other hand. I don't know, I was about to say something. <laughs> no. Uh. If you don't cooperate, I will. And he'll hold his action to, uh, what's it called? Cast the spell on her as soon if she doesn't, uh, if she goes to attack anybody else. All right. And now on my turn. I don't think I have any bonus actions. All yeah, right. Tux. Um, Tux is gonna rage. Interesting. And that activates Wild Sword. Which... Rolls a D8, that's a 5. And that is, uh, whenever a creature hits you with an attack roll before your rage ends, the creature takes d6 force damage as magic lashes out in retribution. And then, Tux is gonna come... He's gonna what now? <laughs> gonna come very hard. Okay. Good to um, know. So Tex is gonna hop, run, and hop over the table. Over here with their. <laughs> Hand axes out. And attack five. At the door? Oh, Is... oh, okay. Since you can At... see EOF diagonally. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Negotiations are out the window, I repeat. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Turns out. <laughs> we tried. That... To be fair, none of us four know. The other, we don't know each other <laughs> yet, so we don't know that any of us would do that kind of thing. Well, <laughs> <laughs> got a wild card, I repeat. 
Assuming that it missed. Yep. Two. That's. Uh. Also misses. Damn. Okay. Who are you doing it at? At the gnome. Okay. No, I'm totally attacking you through the wall. No, I was like wondering if you were attacking the halfling. I can't... I can't reach the halfling. Alright, is that your turn? That'd be my turn. Alright, it is Shade's turn. What does she do? Uh, she turns to the halfling and like, uh, she's probably being a bit unreasonable. Maybe you should, like, go sit, sit this out until she calms down. It, okay. Trying to since he's charmed, I'm trying to convince him to just go sit down and wait for her to calm down. <laughs> that means you have advantage on persuasion checks, right? Yep. Okay, make a persuasion check. Oh, all right. Fuck it, I guess. <laughs> I'm, that, I have like two. You have a plus eleven. Yes, I have deception and persuasion at at like highest levels, and everything else is like a one. Legit just made a character that can talk their way out of situations. Which I'm trying to do at this as this moment. <laughs> yeah. Um he he looks he's just like, well, uh, I suppose it's time for me to kind of fuck off, I guess. And comes around. Oh. I can't get out the door. <laughs> <laughs> well it's not his turn, so he doesn't do that, but he's like, Oh, okay. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, is that an action? Uh, trying to convince him? Probably. Okay, let me see if I can do this bonus action. Uh, I'm going to cast, uh, Demotivate at her. Okay. Uh, you hurl magical insults at one creature you can see within 30 feet of you. The target must succeed a wisdom saving throw. Uh, uh, or be frightened of you for one minute. While frightened this way, the target cannot take reactions that speed is had, and any attack you make against the creature has advantage. Uh, the right. target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turn, ending the effect. Uh, you're gonna die pretty fast if you just keep if you keep uh, throwing around that kind of magic. Stupid bitch. <laughs> Stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> Alright, uh, she is in fact now frightened. Uh, now, to be clarify, this spell is created to be frightened in a specific way. So, per what it says in the text. I'll just use that one. Okay. And as, uh, Shades her. She's basically just like leaning against the wall with her arms crossed. <laughs> like, that hurt. Mm -hmm. Uh, so now <laughs> he's gonna go over here. He's gonna be like trying to find a way out. He's like, "Well, uh, I guess I, I guess I can't go out the door." What's well, the exit over there? Maybe want some stairs? No, I'm not allowed to go down there. Oh, cool. Now it's uh, Yofi's turn. I mean, he can move through uh, people's spaces, just at half movement. Not enemy spaces, though, which uh, Maverick's blocking the door. Unless right. Maverick's going to allow him through. I'll allow him through. Alright. He gets him out of the way. Oh, shit. There. He's just going to come back over here and just pop a squat. <laughs> Shade's just, like, smiling at Yuffie. What mm -hmm. you doing? <laughs> Yuffie, Yuffie is now going to panic and um, going to try and uh, escape, but are you going to let her run out as well, Maverick? He's got information. I'll snag her by her hair if she tries to run. Alright, so instead she is going to back step over here engaging 
uh, attack of opportunity from literally everybody if they want to take a pot shot. Fuck yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Shay will not. I won't um, take a pop shot. I'll, I'll let her be. She didn't attack, like... I told her she so that's that's good. <laughs> Even if it's not by her own will. Right. <laughs> what? Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ! That hits, that hits! Oh my god! Reaching around the fucking corner like an animal just like, swiping at her. <laughs> Karn's eyes glow and look straight at you. <laughs> he is uh, mildly unhappy with you. <laughs> you you cut you you graze her. She she gets a uh, she gets a cut like on her uh, like the back of her right shoulder as she's running away. Um, oh hey, a shoulder for a shoulder. Yep. Doesn't that drop charm as she, well? She's not charmed. I only charmed uh, the, the halfling. I mean, you cast the, whatever demotivate is, demotivate right? Demotivate at That's... the end of her turn, she can make a save. Um, and she is going to recast Inflict Wounds onto, uh, onto Tux now. Uh, for hitting her. I think Inflict Wounds is a touch. Oh, okay. Oh, she... is it? Yes. Oh, it is. Never mind. Uh, Quick question. Is yes. Demotivate and Charm Person concentration will? No. One is an hour, one is a minute. Okay. Does she move period. back? Yes. <laughs> Does she come back to attack us? No. Okay. Uh, she instead is going to... Let's see. I swear to God, if she has ranged attack spells. All right, uh, she is going to attempt to command uh, Maverick. Would I see that as an attack as she starts to cast another spell and then use my action to attack her, my held action? At this point, it, it she is clearly casting a spell. Okay. It, uh... You. Initially, you would have no idea whether it's going to do damage or not, but she is clearly casting a spell. Uh, would you allow me to make an attack if, yes. I'm, if, if I feel threatened? Okay, I'll do that then. Uh, just so you know, this character will always be using Sharpshooter, so I'll always have that minus five tagged on there. And stuff like that. I helped, okay. I helped him code it, so it should be good. And I do not have advantage... And I do not have sneak attack, correct? Yeah. So I should be able to look at that. Did that go through? Yep. Uh, that barely hits. All right, and then I click this to roll damage. So 23 altogether. All right. So no. she still casts the spell, but she looks very hurt okay. now. This Wait. This arrow gores her. But she's still able to get the spell out. Would it be possible for Tarn to be able to... Is he able to see her if he peeks his head around the corner? No. Of the I door? would say no. Damn it. <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs> uh, so she gives you the command to fall back. Okay. And, um... Or I guess it has to be one command. One um, word, yeah. One word. Retreat. So she, so she says, retreat. Yes. Um, you must make a wisdom saving throw. Ah. Yeah, Get you fucked. you pass. I just shake it off. Yeah. And just you tell feel her like sorry. This little tug, but like it, it, it ultimately does nothing. It's not in my vocabulary. Sorry. And she kind of grits her teeth. Uh, that's the end of her turn. Maverick, it is your turn now. Go ahead and let make, or make a wisdom saving throw. To end oh, okay. Motivated. That is a dirty 20. She breaks free of that. Okay. <clears throat> I will 
I don't want to be in base to base, so I'm right where I want to be with the weapon right now. I draw my bow back, and I aim it at her one last time, and I say, you move an inch, and I'm going to put this between your eyes, so let's talk this out. And I'll... Actually, I will walk in. Uh, while the weapon is pointed at her, I'll walk in after saying that, and I'll go 5, 10, 15 onto the bed. And I'll stand up on the bed, pointing down at her, because she's could a... You, could you show me the path that you took to get there? I would have walked past her. Okay, so attack... Uh, there's no other way. So if she attacks, no. I'll just release. You can move through a friendly space. It's still uh, past there. Is Yofi friendly? I'm taunting. I said if you attack me, I'll shoot you, then I provoked her by walking past her to see what she does. She uh... attacks you. Okay. That's a six. She takes That's... a swipe with a dagger. It misses, and I'm assuming and I... immediately. <laughs> I shoot her in the foot, and I stick her foot to the ground if I hit. Yeah, okay. You're... Assuming that she hits because you're close, uh, it would be a disadvantage because you're. Yeah. Away. So, oh god, where are where are these buttons? Advantage, disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage. God, I'm trying to do things. Yeah. Still hits. All right. Plus nine. Uh, just, just to clarify, in case we all know, are you thinking that's a seventeen, or are you thinking that's a fourteen? That's a fourteen. Okay. Fourteen still hits. Oh yeah, it is, huh? Yeah. Yeah, if a thirteen just barely hits, a fourteen okay. does. Okay. Uh, damage to the foot. 16 total. As I shoot her right in the toes. <laughs> I think this one takes out, like, the entirety of her ankle. <laughs> oh, damn, I wasn't trying to be that violent. I got regular arrows, I don't have, like, ballistic. She, she's looking very battered right now. <laughs> and you've done it all. <laughs> okay, I mean, the, the majority of it. All right, Tarn, it is your turn. He's going to... Like, she is suffering it... right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, she she looks like she's, like, at the end of her life. Plan. I would say maybe, like, bad. 20% left. Okay, um... She's looking roughly, uh, 10 out of 54 right now. 10 out of 54 kittens. Yeah. All right, he's going. Yeah, he's just gonna. Um, pop, pop, uh, <laughs> where's my bonus actions here? <laughs> Sorry. I had. A... Yeah, no, he's gonna just try and uh, hit her over the head and. Actually, no, he's gonna t um, just speak a word. For Toll of the Dead, and um, try and non lethally uh, just knock her out, drain whatever remaining energy she has left, okay. which is 2d8. Oh, I need a real uh, hit before I. 2d12 just... if she's injured, isn't it? It is. 2d12, sorry. Okay, so roll the hit. Slash R2. Oh, yeah. RD20. Plus, uh, where does it say the modifier to hit? Oh no, it's a save. So she needs to make a con save. Con save. That's coming right up. Of fifteen. That's a seven. All right, she fails. She takes two d twelve damage. Two d twelve. Fuck. <laughs> so she takes seven uh, necrotic damage. You can see that her wounds start to fester. They almost get like this, like greenish blue quality to them. It looks gangrenous as shit. It's gross. And then um, he's going to bonus action, um, push her down with his shield, and make her go prone. Okay. He's gonna attempt to um, make a strength check then. That it one second. I have the thing here. It tells me what I have to 
Uh, okay. You can use bonus action, charge up creatures with five hundred if you aren't in Okay, oh, yeah, it's bon bonus action shove. I, I'm going to assume you know the shove rules. I don't remember. I can look it up, but... I'm going to look it up, too, because I'm not 100%. Shove. Five. I'm going to push e. her down the stairs. Well, I just want her to go prone in place. I'm not actually moving her. I would replace I can... an attack action. Nope, not when you have Shield Master. Yeah, I love that feat. Uh, yeah, fuck you, Dia. <laughs> God, oh, read the book. No. <laughs> no, I play the game. And then when I have a problem, I'll just look it up. Breaking up your move, moving to using different speed, difficult, being prone. Jesus, where is the ruling on? I think it's strength versus strength. Oh, I think I have it right. I do think it might be a contested strength check. But, man, I've used it before, too. And Greg uses it, it all the time. Oh, found it. Attack. Using the uh, your attack action, or bonus action in this case, you can make a mele special melee attack to shove a creature, either knock it prone or push it away from you. If you're able to make multiple blah blah blah. Okay. Target must be no... Okay, uh, instead of making an attack roll, you make a strength athletic check contested by the target's strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics check. I'm pretty sure that with her... So she rolls... ...angle, she's not very dexterous. Uh, she, she has lost her ankle. <laughs> I, would, I said it's like losing an ankle, but... <laughs> Alright, I'll make uh, my ath strength athletic check. Fuck. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> That's a four. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so yeah, she is now prone, and he's just gonna say, stay down or die. And then end his turn. Alright, Tux, it is your turn. Right. Tux goes in and finishes her off. <laughs> oh, fuck it, hell, man. Don't. <laughs> he enters the room, I stab him. <laughs> down, kitty. Is this an open space? It's a desk. You can get on top of it. I'm hey, you let him. Cap. I'm, I'm getting on it. I okay. Him. Also, just for the yeah, um, at least like your purposes, I'm not. Actually, never mind. Never mind. He'll figure. It'll happen if it happens. <laughs> and then... Wait, is he attacking? Yes. <laughs> Do any of us have any? Can we say anything to him, or is it like not talking on our, like off your turn? Is that like uh, a reaction? Talking is a free action, so if you would like to try and say something, you can, but you won't be able to convince him or anything. That's all gonna have to come from the yeah, player. Yeah, I just look at the cat and I said, I don't know you, but you know, living people tell more tales than dead people for looking for information, right? You clearly haven't seen the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Yeah. Hey, that's meta gaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I am not that's here. That's all to... I say. And so, text attacks. <laughs> no shits given, oh. got it. Fucking hell, I don't have a reaction to do anything about that. <laughs> uh... <sighs> and she's so... prone, so you have advantage. <laughs> awesome. You Actually, are making me... a mistake. Seventeen. Oh my god. Or okay. Attacking again. Oh you, Jesus! You don't. You don't have to. I. I... You can if you want. You'd just be hitting a dead body at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I, I was just going for the busted angle again. So dead body with a... amputated foot. Mm-hmm. Cool. 
Is there any way to stabilize the mangled halfling? Um, you, you mean no? The halfling is sitting yes. down, the gnome is... The gnome. Or, oh, she's the gnome, the sorry. Way. Halfling's untouched. Just chilling over there by the silk still, probably. Yep. I just, since I can't help the dead person, I slide her under the bed. <laughs> I mean, you can do a medical check to see if she can be stabilized. Just in case we need to ask her questions. I will try. I'm not proficient in it. So, disadvantage or? No, d d <laughs> if you don't have proficiency, you don't have proficiency. So Okay. I, I do. Can I attempt to try and stabilize her? I just got two fingers over an arrow wound I put in her. I'm like, one hand up. Eh? <laughs> Up to you guys. Are we are we still on initiative, by the way? Um, let's just say no. It looks at Tux. After this is all over, we will be speaking. And he goes down to the way and tries to help her in any way that possible, um, and sees if she can be saved. All right. Can you make a medicine check? Yep. Okay. You are able to catch her just close enough to death that you are able to stabilize her, but she is still out cold. She has lost a lot of blood. Thank God. We'll bring some silk. <laughs> yeah. He will, he'll lift her up then, and he's going to set her in the bed instead of un <laughs> letting her just be underneath it. <laughs> and, yeah, he's going to just... Um, quietly try and wrap up anything he had uh any of her wounds with like bandages and stuff like that mm -hmm. and uh she's unconscious though so i can't ask her questions <laughs> um this this door is still open so like the, the, sh the map shows yeah. the shelf there the shelf is actually like slid over to the bed okay that's the best we'll be able to do we should we should probably uh, speak with the halfling. Uh, Shade is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, crisscrossed, yeah. uh, sitting down in front of him, like looking at her wounds. Damn, that hurt. Does she do this to you ever? Talking to the halfling. <laughs> no. We work together. She the one that told you you could go downstairs? Oh, no, I've been downstairs before. It's just we're not allowed to do it during open hours. No, huh? really? Who told you that? Your boss? Yeah, my boss. Uh, is he working today? I'm not sure. He comes and goes as he pleases. Mm. What's down there? Oh, all sorts of stuff. Like? Is it more silk? There's some silk down there. Was Frederick ever down there? I don't think so. Do you think he ever knew about it? Maybe. Hmm. What do you guys do down there when you ha when you can go down there? Uh, inventory, stock. Uh, we gotta make sure that uh the our boss gets gets the money from up here. Standard business, though. Yeah. She's like poking at her wound. Ooh, ow. Uh, uh, what about any illegal stuff? You doing some shady things? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> nice, nice. What kind of things? Uh, well, black market dealings, drugs, uh, illicit substances other than drugs, um, summoning demons, all sorts of things. Oh, cool. lovely. While they're having this conversation, I'm gonna walk over to the door, close the blinds, and put up a close sign if they have one. Yeah, there there is one on the front door. I'm gonna flip it over and shut the door behind me, and hey, I'm gonna uh, sit is, next to it. Okay, is uh is Yofi okay in there? Oh no, she's she's fine. She's taking a nap, taking a good rest. She got it. Oh got okay. Good, though. She works too hard. She really needs it. Yeah. Does she know about the legal stuff though? 
Yeah, no, she's she. I mean, she ranks above me. So, did she know Frederick? No. No, not really. No. So it must have been your boss that knew Frederick. Not really. Frederick just stuck his nose in places where they shouldn't be. Mm. I think I've heard enough from him. I think we should head in. We're gonna head down I there. Don't... Do you what? Do you think you can uh, close up shop and head on home for the day? Yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. All right. Uh, just stay out of the back for a second. She she really needs her rest. Uh, will do. And, uh... Carl, she... <laughs> start walking back. Shade will get up and walk her way back. Also, before he goes back, can he look behind the desk uh, here? Is there anything underneath the table of note that, um... I see of, a, like, any importance that might give a clue as to what's behind the bookshelf back there? Or edition of any other <laughs> dealings. So stored under the desk are a uh, is a couple scimitars similar to the one that uh, that the ma the halfling pulled out uh, a little earlier, and uh, there is a single crystal that's just sitting, kind of strapped to the bottom of the desk as well. Does the okay he'll. Like, just a crystal, as in just, like, a gem, or does it seem like to be of magical nature at all? Make an arcana tell? check. Okay. I will... Guidance. Uh, I don't know what my d4 will be, but... 11 total. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe not. It might be magical in nature, I don't know. Okay, um, but it doesn't seem, there's no, like, note or anything next to it or um, anything mm -hmm. signaling what it might do. Nope. Hmm. No, I would, I, I have nope. something. He'll grab it and he'll walk over to Yofi, which should be laying in bed right now, and oh, yeah. come grab the um, necklace off of her. Oh, wait, did I didn't notice, did I notice... I didn't notice the necklace on her, did I? I'll grab it. And also, I'll search. I'm gonna actually. I'll grab the necklace and I'll also double check. Does she no, have any you potions didn't. on her? Um, spray healing potion. Nope. Damn, this thing's gonna get infected. If I don't. She she's that. pretty. She's pretty. Uh, nope. Everything around here seems pretty sparse. Other than, you know, the amount of silks. Mm. Uh, pocketing the necklace and then uh, shadowy magic over Shade's hand. She's going to like, cast false life on herself. And then I will pocket the necklace. Me realizing I don't have a certain spell on my spell list. Uh, can I arcana check the necklace? Go for it. Alright. While everybody's um, in the room, he's going to oh. cast aid Looks pretty. on us through. Hmm. He'll, he's doing it begrud begrudgingly, but he's also going to give aid to Tux. Uh, <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, cast. Oop. So you all get um, your hit point maximum goes up by five, and uh, you also heal by five. So it makes up for what you've just gained for max HP. Uh, so you you added five to everyone. Oh, wait. Choose up to three creatures within range. Okay, so never mind. Uh, Tux does not get the plus five. I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, Sorry. It, is the necklace out in the open, or is it in your pocket? Uh, she pocketed it. Okay, because I, I do have a way of identifying magic. 
and That's and cool. knowing not all uh, about it. That's cool. Shade moves on. <laughs> and I don't notice. Uh, um, d does anybody notice him grab the necklace off of her? Pretty sure I just walked up and did it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's then. Um, if I can notice the necklace, does it look similar to the gem that's in my hand that I picked up underneath the desk? Yeah, they look almost identical. Except the one that was that was a necklace is more like polished. I wonder how. All right, then. Uh, she'll just hold on to it for now, then, and uh, follow behind Shade. Except he'll actually wait for everybody to go through the room. All right. Make sure Tux doesn't try to murder uh, Gyovi as he goes through. <laughs> Sure, leave the tank in in the middle. I am a tank too, my friend. We go down. I cast light because I can't can't see diddly. And I right, so do you do you make like an orb that casts light, or do you have like a? I cast light. it on an object, so I will cast light on my shield, and it okay. will make a bright light for. 20 feet and a dim light for another 20 feet. Do me a favor. Very nice. Throw that, throw that on something that you can hide easily. Like mm -hmm. a coin or. I've seen half something. a dozen idiots get yeah, beaten not... in the shadow fell because they decided to put it on their big ass shield. Uh, or he'll grab the gem that was he grabbed a second ago and he'll light up the gem. Okay, Actually, I, I tried yeah. to put, I put an aura around you. Did that work? Yeah, yeah, I can see now. Down we go. Yeah, we just head down the stairs now. 